Good afternoon. We'll start with uh, short opening statements by the Secretary General and the Prime Minister, and then we'll be happy to take a few questions. Secretary General. Prime Minister Djukanovic, uh, welcome. It's a great pleasure to welcome you here at the NATO headquarters. We have met uh, many times before, but this is uh, the first time we uh, meet uh, uh, at the NATO headquarters, and uh, I think that reflects uh, the uh, commitment uh, of uh, Montenegro and also the commitment of uh, uh, NATO to uh, uh, really uh, work on what we have agreed on uh, uh, related to the focused and intensified uh, talks related to your aspiration to become uh, a NATO uh, member. And uh, the talks today have uh, really reflected our shared commitment to support Montenegro on its path to Euro-Atlantic uh, integration. Montenegro has uh, made real progress towards membership in NATO. You have introduced uh, substantial reforms. You are a champion of uh, regional uh, cooperation. And you have uh, repeatedly shown that you share our uh, values. You continue to contribute to our efforts in Afghanistan through both uh, financial and uh, operational contributions. And on behalf of the Alliance, I would like to thank you for your great contributions uh, to our operation in Afghanistan. We decided in Wales to open a period of intensified and focused uh, talks. And uh, foreign ministers will address our progress by the end of this year to decide whether to invite you to join the Alliance. Our meeting today is an important step. It will allow us to assess reforms and look at what remains to be done. It is a chance to show that you are delivering in areas such as the reform of the intelligence sector, strengthening the rule of law, and increasing public support for membership. Countries which um, joined the alliance have been able to reinforce their democracy, boost their security, and make the lives of their citizens safer. Europe has become more stable, and this is a real historic success. Each country has the sovereign right to choose its own security arrangements. We are pleased that Montenegro has made the choice to pursue NATO membership. Prime Minister, I look forward to continuing our work in the months ahead. Please welcome. Dear Secretary General, first of all, thank you very much for organizing today's meeting. Thank you very much for the useful suggestions that we've had during the meeting and during your address here. Ladies and gentlemen, today's meeting was a chance to um, prolong a quality, continued dialogue that we've had between Montenegro and NATO. As Secretary General has already mentioned, we've met several times already, but after the changes in the NATO alliance, this now has been the first chance for me to address the Secretary General in the headquarters of NATO and today to address NEC. These are wonderful opportunities uh, for us as responsible partners to discuss the content of our relations that uh, are now marked by the intensified and focused talks. The mandate for which was given to us at last year's summit in Cardiff. As we have mentioned several times, the focus is still on the four key areas. And today we had a chance, or I had a chance, to inform the Secretary General and his assistants about our view of the progress that has been achieved. The 
focus remains on all four areas, but I think the focus, a bit more focus, is now on the rule of law and the public support. And that is why I've used this opportunity to inform the Secretary General about the results achieved on these issues and at the same time to tell you about the optimism of myself and of Montenegro as a whole that in the months to come we are sure to meet the requirements of our partners and we hope to be able to say that we are fully ready to take on the responsibility of a new NATO member. We are very much encouraged by the words by the Secretary General that NATO remains committed to the open door policy and in a very constructive way NATO values the work Montenegro has undertaken so far and I believe that Montenegro with this capacity with its commitment is able to produce the results that will finally qualify us for NATO membership I've informed the Secretary General about the about how you important it is that the open door policy has continued by NATO. It is extremely relevant for the Western Balkans. We believe that the issue of stability remains the key challenge for the Western Balkans. And equally, we believe that integration is another name for stability of the Western Balkans. So we believe that it is uh, crucial that we continue the open door policy in NATO, that pro-reform government and pro-reform public, not just in Montenegro, but also in the region as a whole, that timely and clear support that the implementation of comprehensive reforms must continue, because this is how we'll put conditions in place, not just for integration, but for a quality life of the peoples in the region and for the essential integration of the region into the civilization of the 21st uh, century. It was a pleasure me to hear the assessment by the Secretary General, some of which he has shared here with you, that Montenegro is a positive example, is a country that not just formally but also essentially is a leader in the region in terms of the quality and pace of the reforms taken. And I also wish to take this opportunity and say that it is with great pleasure that we will continue being a partner to NATO, will continue being a promoter of the system of Euro-Atlantic values in that part of Europe, and I believe in a few months a fully-fledged member of NATO. Thank you very much for your time attention. for a couple of questions. Please put up your hand uh, and uh, say which outlet to represent and your name. We'll start with the lady over there and then we'll go yes. with that. Uh, Maria Ivicic, Daily Newspaper, Pobjeda. Uh, the question is for Mr. Stoltenberg. You mentioned uh, in this statement that the public, public support, issue of public support, and it's very important to in intensify the dialogue, and I was wondering, can you send a message to Montenegrin people from this place, from the headquarters of NATO? Why is it important for Montenegro to become the member of NATO? What are the benefits? The benefit of enlargement of uh, NATO, uh, I think we have seen that very clearly over a long period of uh, time. Uh, because we have seen uh, that the enlargement of NATO has been a great historic success and it has taken place over many years and we have uh, uh, increased the numbers of uh, countries that are uh, part of the alliance substantially over, especially since the end of the Cold War. And the, the enlargement of NATO has contributed to stability, to peace, to the security of the people uh, in the countries that have uh, joined NATO and also to uh, 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 increase living standards because peace and stability has also promoted economic uh, growth. And this will, of course, also be the advantage uh, for uh, Montenegro. Uh, uh, it is up to Montenegro and NATO to decide whether Montenegro is uh, ready to join the alliance, but the purpose of the intensified and focused talks is to enable uh, Montenegro to uh, join and therefore I welcome the progress which we have uh, seen in Montenegro and uh, 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 the enlargement of NATO has been a great uh, political success and uh, therefore I think also it is important for 
us to discuss and to work on how we can uh, go further and, uh, and make pros progress also related to Montenegro. Okay. Lady over there. Uh, Mila Vukovic, National TV of Montenegro. I have a question for Mr. Stoltenberg. Uh, how do you assess the current uh, focus dialogue between, between Montenegro and NATO? Thank you. My assessment is that we have uh, made a lot of progress, uh, NATO and Montenegro together. Uh, Montenegro has, has made progress when it comes to key areas as, uh, for instance, the rule of law, reform of the intelligence sector, reform of uh, defense. And uh, this is of great importance, and I welcome and I commend Montenegro for the progress. And uh, uh, I think it just underlines uh, that it was important and it was the right decision to take to launch the focused and uh, intensified uh, talks. Okay, thank you very much indeed.